Hi everyone. Um, most of us having problem, you know, while doing Nista course. Um, this video is especially made for primary teachers or those who are doing um courses through Diksha app. Uh, especially for Nista training, and I have got some queries, you know. I'm not a departmental person, but I'm I'm as a teacher, and I'm just trying to help you out. There, those who are doing courses through Diksha app, okay. Um, yeah, I received some clips here, and I'm showing you. There are some problems in the apps. I don't know. They have some suggestions, but still, you know, our staffs are getting unable to load and refresh. Try again. So, this type of problem uh, having to our teachers and yeah this is another problem and um yeah see here unable to load content and rephrase and try again later so teachers has taken some photo clip and sent to my whatsapp number and i got this. I'm also doing courses through this app. Um, but yeah, I got such problems and they have some suggestions also, but doesn't work for me. So I got a laptop and I use a laptop to continue this course, but most of you do not have laptop, I think so. But those who have laptops, this video will be helpful for them. And see here. Uh, this is another problem um they have some suggestions like if you are having such kind of problems like you know unable to load content refresh and please try again so if you are having at that time they have in their manuals number step nine other common issues they have mentioned that this happens usually they have uh, written here teacher usually skip the modules and do the assessment and score the qualify marks and raise queries on the issue of the certificate they claim so um if the content doesn't open then please delete the content and clear the cache file they're saying so so how do you clear the cache file you can um in the content there is the options delete button so you need to click on delete and then this will reset and teachers those who completed the given model on quiz has not completed the course hence they are not eligible to get certificate so they are also saying so so in order to get certificate you must complete the course okay um another other issue is that uh, to clear the, to clear the phone's history you know cache memory and there may be lack of RAM, they are saying so. Um, but I noticed that, you know, the video given in the Dixia apps are very heavy and high quality. There is no option to change, okay? There is no option to change um, to like, you know, pixels, like video quality. Uh, in YouTube, we'll get options to watch in different video quality, 480p. 360p 240p uh, but these options are not available in Dixia apps because of that those who are having low internet connections they can't watch that videos they have given alternative transcription also um but uh, today in this video i'm showing you that how you can log in with same id the the id that you used on your mobile app okay so for that you need to visit Dixia. just type open browser um okay d i k s s a diksha g o b dot in just tap this okay and then hit enter key see here diksha dot not dot just tap this options okay diksha comment in Okay, and then you will see in the Google source 
don't add this url directly okay you can also tap this but you maybe get confused so because of that i'm showing you these options just type diksha gov in okay make sure that there should be some space in in between these letters or words okay um after that you will see in the browser login option if you are login through mobile um i'm not showing mobile option here but if you want to open this on browser on your mobile phone then you can open google chrome on your mobile and then go to uh in this side there is a vertical three dots and while opening you will get in this option there is a uh, desktop site so tick that desktop off sign option okay and that will help you to open this website in desktop mode so that you can easily access the course on your browser so for computer just we need to click on this login button okay uh, it is quite easy for you or if you directly visit it um dixia.gv.in then make sure that click on explore content but if you are visiting through google then um what i have suggested you can click on login okay and then you will see here sign in button same thing will be open on mobile also okay i'll just click on sign in button yeah um well sign in there is some options are given here okay if you are logging with google then you can click here and select the email id or uh, if you got email id and password so you can enter your email id or phone number and then enter your password also okay uh, but if you and there is a three options one is email id phone number or password that is diksha app login and another is sign in with google and third option is login with state systems okay so it is different one so whichever you have access then you can log in in mobile browser or computer browser okay for now i am just logging with diksha um login system this is email id and i have entered already email id and password here so i am clicking here okay and yeah uh if you open through computer browser you won't have any problem like loading you know some contents are not loading properly or video are getting laggy or some slow you know if you got good internet connection it can easily operate it and far better than mobile apps um but those who have don't have options they can access through mobile also uh, through mobile browser and if they are comfortable with uh, else they can all these things can be done on mobile app also but sometimes some videos are not open okay and make sure that for sikimis users those who are doing courses through this diksha app just click on this profile and uh, here you will get options click on this profile okay see here and make sure that you click on this edit content preferences and set all these options as for your constituency state okay and your schools and then make sure that those who are doing courses uh, nista courses 03 or any state course of sikkims so they must select the board into state sikkim okay and medium should be english and classes should be cpd others those who are doing uh, primary nista training secondary and senior secondary level okay and then make sure that all these details should be filled up properly um the certificate you have completed will be shown here and then whatever the course completed here i have completed two courses of primary that is sk fln introduction to fln mission foundational literacy numeracy mission so i've completed this both the courses in october and i got certificate here download option so but remember um if you haven't score 
mm, 14 out of 20 then you want to get any certificate okay uh, you will get three times to attempt this crack the courses and within th three times if you are unable to score 14 marks then you won't get any certificate so you will have to try in 2022 they will give second option second chance okay um make sure that when you set these options then go to here click on courses and this video is especially for those who are doing nista training for primary level okay um this video may not be appropriate for senior secondary and secondary level uh this video is only for primary level okay those who are doing courses through this dixia apps and here first one is skfln introduction to fln missions and second is skfln shifting through us this uh, i've completed both this course through this through my laptop uh i found quite easy okay uh, i will not show you everything but i'll just open here and show you that i courses i have completed 100 percent and it's quite easy okay i'll open some courses here see here it's just loading and we need to wait for seconds yeah yes it's quite easy and you know similarly uh, left side in the left side there is a uh, small modules are given here and so you when you complete one module then you can click on one by one okay first let's for example if you completed course instructions then you can get options replay and if you are not sure then you can click on replay and then watch and then learn read whatever you want to do okay um and then when you complete it you'll get this green tick and click on the next course i've already completed i'm just showing to you because it's quite easy and here in vertical three dots if you click here then you will get download option also so you can read after downloading also if you are having problem um this is just introduction part okay and it's quite easy in as compared to mobile version um yeah and there is some course all the courses given here and this is assessment and the quiz so make sure that while doing assessment sorry assessment uh here you must have to score 14 marks and above out of 20 else you won't get any certificate so before applying this make sure that you must have knowledge about these courses fundamental foundational sorry foundational literacy and numeracy missions okay so then there is a soft titles are given here you need to complete all this you can't skip these things so you need to go through these steps one by one and like you can some there are some courses you can uh, given some short questions also for your understanding how much you have gained knowledge so you can check through this also and yeah there are so many courses given here need of significant so many things is given here and you can click on back okay yes and then second course i have under cpd there is a shifting to us competency based education this also i have completed this introduction part yes and why this should be cbsc yes um i'm just showing that some videos so that you will get idea okay i'm just trying to figure out yes there is a codification of learning outcomes this is the video and codification of learning outcomes transit this means scripted okay or subtitles or whatever you can say uh if you watch this you will 
get all these things in video and you will see in return material okay so both things are same like if i click this yes then it's quite slow but it's loading quite fast and if you click then if you want to listen fast then you can change from here also okay and it's quite easy then in mobile and if you want to uh, watch in full options then this option is given here you can do from here also okay and make sure that it should be watched completely else your course can't be completed and after completing then you can follow next steps one by one sometimes you need to click here next button okay so once you completed this course you will receive you have completed this modules and after that you can go to next module and if you want to get back then click on here this is how you can complete it and after completing you will receive certificate within a day okay so this must this is how you can use on computer and the certificate can be downloaded just click on the profile icon then go to profile and then scroll down and you'll see my under my learning and you will see the certificate just click on download okay so i hope this will help you to some extent thank you for watching this video